Here it is, our brand new turbo blanket for the BMW B48 engine platform. So let's see what's in the packet. This is a titanium blanket, but they also come available in carbon fiber. They both work exactly the same. It's just a diff different visual look that you're gonna achieve. Okay, so your turbo blanket covers the manifold portion, which will sit over here. And you've also got the turbo portion, which will wrap nicely around the turbine housing. In the packet, you'll also see you've got some lock wire. Don't be afraid of this. I'll be able to show you how to work that with, with that later. You've got some fastening springs and you will actually need some pliers or a spring puller tool. And I've also got a lock wire tool, which is quite fancy, but you can achieve the same job with the pliers. All right, let's get to it. So as always, I'll always recommend trying to fit the hardest to reach springs first. What you'll notice is you've got two down the bottom here and they actually wrap around the turbo like this and they'll fasten to these. These are gonna be the hardest to reach, so I'm gonna do those first. Okay, as always, you wanna just click those on there while it's nice and free. And that's it, really simple. And it's just a case of completing that process. I know it'll be a little bit more difficult in your engine bay, but on the workbench, it's really easy for you to see what's going on, what needs to be fast and where. Okay, so this is the top of your manifold and that's what you're likely to see uh, in your engine bay from the top portion. And you'll see the actuator arm here, okay? So I'm trying to, to keep, give you a good visual reference as to what you likely see in your engine bay. So you just feed that underneath your actuator arm. Maybe a little bit fiddly, but you can do it and you can achieve it. We have tried this on a car, uh, but again, it's just a little bit easier for visual reference to show it off the car. Just keep feeding that all the way through and you'll notice that that sits quite nicely. It gets to a nice position. It will sit nicely there, sitting around the actuator. You can see that just there. there's a nice cutout for that. And then also the blanket will just, again, sit snugly on top of the, uh, on top of the manifold. Once you get to this point, you're going to need to wrap the blanket around the back of the turbine housing for securing and tightening with the springs. Now we're gonna repeat the same process on this anchor point. So now that's nice and secure, we're gonna move on to these anchor points here using the lock wire. So why are we using lock wire instead of springs? Okay, so if I just fold this back, there's not actually that much space between the runners. Okay, so you have to use something nice and thin, which is lock wire. Similar to the springs, you can start with the hardest to reach first, which would be these anchor points, but will look better if we start here and cut the excess off around the back because that top side there is going to be visible in your engine bay. It's entirely up to you. It's whatever you're comfortable with. Okay, so first up, you want to take your lock wire and bend it in two like that. Over your anchor point, you want to cross it over. So it's going the opposite direction now and then bend it back into the original direction. Again, keeping it around the anchor point, like you see there. Once you have it like this, you want to thread it through, through the access gap that you've got there, and then also through the runner in the manifold. And you'll see that pop out just the other side. Okay, so when that's nice and tight, you can see that's hanging through there. Essentially, you just need to join from there to this anchor point and do it nice and tight. Again, I'm going to be using some lock wire tools now um, to twiddle that up, make it super tight. But you don't have to do this, it's just an extra, extra step. Lock wire pliers work in a very similar way to normal pliers, uh, but they have a locking mechanism. Now you've locked your pliers in place, you want to be able to turn them round, grab the pliers and let go. Just keep repeating the process. And what you're going to start to see is down here, it's going to become nice and twisted. Yeah, so I'm just going to repeat that. Once you've managed to achieve that, you just want to pass that over to the top, unclip your lock, locking pliers, unwind it slightly. So I've actually done it slightly too long here. Uh, unwind it slightly till you get to the anchor point. And in a very similar process to how you started, we're going to wrap around the anchor point. You can do this a couple of times if you need to. I'm going to come back on myself and then repeat the same locking wire process and then cut the excess off. Once you get here, you just want to disconnect your locking pliers and cut off the excess. Bend that back out of the way and you're all set. Now you just need to repeat the same process on the other two anchor points. 
Once you're happy with how the manifold portion is sitting, give it a pull around, manipulate it just so you are happy with everything. So there isn't too many creases. And that's it, you're done. That's the B48 turbo blanket fitted. The B48 turbo blanket is now available through all of our dealers and on our website at funkmotorsport.com. Again, available in titanium like you see here and carbon fiber. If you've got any questions, find us at funkmotorsport.com. This is how we do it.